were driving a car, she was subjected to psychiatric evaluation. Mm -hmm. This idiot was stuck in traffic, and instead of him to just help me out by giving me way, he wouldn't. So a young, sensible lady had to drive past to just help me out. I'm tired, honey. I'm just so, so tired. Uh, I think it's about time men we managed to the kitchen. And the rest of the world just left him in the I think the world was such a better place. Anyway, that's for the future. But speaking of now, I cooked. You cooked? Yep. See, I'm honing my cooking skills just in case men are chased. I love surprises. Really? Yep. Well, let's go down the other day. Okay. Yeah, baby. Why don't you street on my way here. Oh, come on, a girl like you should have been walking on a lonely street like this. I hope they didn't take anything valuable. They wouldn't even believe it when I told him it was far better off than me. But anyway, that's the list of my problems. I'm sorry I disturbed your peace this evening. Oh, that's no problem. I'm so sorry. I hope you're all right. I was thrown out by my landlord this evening. So what, he thinks he can suck you and get away with it? You can't blame him. He actually gave me a quick notice a year and two months ago. And I've been owing him two years rent before then. He has tried. So that doesn't give him the right to throw out your belongings? Two shirts and three skirts can hardly qualify as a belonging. So, um, where are they now? I mean, your things. Outside. Outside. Honey, please go check. Okay. Okay. I feel very ashamed running into you like this. Life is so fruitless. It has no pity. Got no oh. compassion. Oh. I thought I had all the answers. Remember when you used to run to me way back in school for advice? It's my turn now. I need your help. I need your strength. I have no one else to run to. Oh, come on. Don't talk like that. You're my friend. I can never turn my back on you. Hmm? All right, let me um take you up so you freshen up and join us for dinner. I can't deal with food right now. I just need a shower and a bed. My husband cooks, so you have to taste his cooking. together through high school and university. Yep, she was the smartest, cutest, and brightest amongst us. If anyone had a bright future back then, it was her. Life is so humbling, you know. Things can just go sour and everything can just go wrong. You know, it can, it can happen to anybody, any of us. 
No, don't say that. We are playing by the safest rules of life, so we should be okay, so that we don't take very stupid risks. We will be fine. Well, I've come to learn that life has no rules and no one knows tomorrow. Oh, okay, I get your point. So how did you all get to this? Well, she found me on Facebook. Yeah, and um, I was so shocked to see her. She traveled to Europe with her husband. Apparently, things were not as they expected and they had to come back home. Oh, the overseas bug, eh? Yep, overseas bug. See, it doesn't matter to people if you're scrubbing toilets or sweeping the streets. As long as you're outside the shores of Africa, they automatically think that things are successful for you. So the unfortunate ones quit their job here, go there and realize that the act of making and saving money is even tougher than they ever imagined. Thank God I've gone through all those stupid stages in my life. You know, she is so lucky because when she got back from Europe, she knows she was made the head of an accounting firm. Oh, so what happened? Her husband lost interest in her completely. Took another mistress? Hmm. Another mistress would have been better. He went for her, her own sister. No. Yep, younger sister. You know, some men are like that. Oh, uh, point of correction, some men. <laughs> not like that. Yeah, of course, some men. Not you. She stuck her neck out for her husband and took a loan from her company to give it to her husband because his business wasn't going on well. Only for him to run away with the money with her younger sister. You know, that's when she just blanked out completely. To top it all, she was arrested and she ended up in jail. And when she came out of the prison cell, she became an outcast. Nobody wanted to employ her, nobody wanted to speak to her. And since then, she's been walking around a miserable person. So, uh, what? Is she coming to stay with us or something? Well, um, that's what I wanted to ask you. I just wanted her to stay around, you know, till things get better, you know, so she can put her act together. Please. So, uh, okay, let's do it like this. Why don't we help her with the rent instead of her staying here? Wow, well, um, I was just going to suggest that you probably give her a job at your company. But if you want to pay her rent, I guess that's a good idea too. Okay, why don't you do it like this? I'll give her a job at the company and then rent a place for her. By the end of every month, we'll deduct the rent from her salary, say, let's just say over a period of a year. Baby, that would be the best anniversary gift ever. You know, I always want to keep you smiling. I got your back. I love you. You're darling. Thank you. <laughs> well, uh, I've been doing some talking with my husband and he's decided to help you out, so I guess you probably start work at his place soon. I don't know how. Jesus! <gasps> What's up, paying me? I just can't find the right words to thank you with. Oh, come on, Anne. You'd have done the same if it was you. So, um, after we finish cooking the food, we'll go and pay the landlord and then go and see my husband at the office. I might start to work tomorrow. Anything is possible. <laughs> yeah, anything is possible. So just get ready. Oh, okay. Now, um, is that the money? Um, all right. Thank you. What's that? Yep. Jesus. Oh, thank you. No, oh, come on. You'd have done the same. <laughs> Alright, so let's finish up and then go and play the lamp out. Okay. Okay.
So uh, you like the new place, huh? I still think I'm in a dream. I keep pinching myself, but the pain is not reassuring. I fear I might wake up and discover that I am dreaming. Well, I'm glad you like it. You see, we are like a family here in this company. We share in each other's joy and in each other's pain. I owe my life to you and your wife. You've really given hope to my dead son. If I hadn't come to you, I doubt I'll still be here today. Oh, my wife actually says you give freely of your time and your money to those in need. I don't think she would have been this nice to you if you were a nasty person. You know what I mean? You see, in life, you receive payment the same currency that you give out. Hmm? Anyway, get back to work. Have a nice day. If you're gonna wait for a taxi, then you're gonna wait for a long time. Come on, let me give you a lift home. Oh, that'll be too much trouble, sir. I'll find my way, like I've always done. Come on now, let's not argue in the heat. Sit inside and let's go, alright? Thank you. <laughs> Jesus! Oh. oh my God! I've almost forgotten how it feels like. I haven't laughed this hard in years. It's like money in the bank. Well, you're not going to have a jolly good laugh if you keep yourself away from people, especially men. I've had more than my share of men. I don't need them anymore. No, see, and that's a very destructive mentality to adopt. When you fall down, you rise up on your feet again. You can't tell me you're not going to ride in the car because you had a car crash once. No, but it's not the same thing. And it is actually the same thing. Men are monsters, some women too. But even with that, they still meet each other, or they still meet the right person, and they settle down. Now you cannot tell me you've never broken a man's heart before. Several. Ah, see? There you have it. But they still moved on with their lives. Why shouldn't you? Back in school, women rubbed my face in debt and they actually trampled and walked over my ego. But look at me now. I'm married to the most beautiful woman alive. I believe I should be responsible for my happiness. No man will give that to me. True, but there's a deeper, richer joy one gets from life if one shares his life with someone. Research has proven that people in healthy relationships live healthier and longer lives. That is why God created man and woman and the marriage institution. Sometimes God sends down angels in human form, just like you and your wife. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. See, I have some bachelors in the office who keep on trembling over each other just to get your attention. Now, every time they do that, they hit a brick wall. That brick wall that you've put up to protect yourself. Tomorrow when you're coming, tear it down, alright? And just allow them to interact with you, okay? Now, could you please just get out of the car? I need to go and see that. Alright. Have a nice evening. Alright, dude. You know, it's old-fashioned guys like Ephraim that make good husbands. 
I don't even know why women are attracted to bad guys anyway. It's like a death wish. You know it's going to kill you, but yet you cannot stop yourself. <laughs> um, all fashion guys know that no one is perfect. So because of that, they tend to be sensitive towards you. They tend to like you. They tend to be patient. They tend, they tend to be understanding. You understand what I'm saying? And above all, they tend to be truly loving. But they are not exciting. You see, that's where you got it all wrong. Just because they might not be loud in public doesn't mean they will not be exciting and passionate when both of you are together. Mm. Now define what you want. Do you want a macho, loud, insensitive brute? Or a sensitive, devoted man? Maybe I should carry a notepad each time you talk so that I can write down some nuggets of wisdom. No, it's not necessary. Now you just get out of my car. I have a wife to go home to. <gasps> Seriously, sir, you don't have to bring me home always. I can always take the bus. Oh, it's okay. It's, it's on my way home. Yeah? Mm. So it's not a bad at all. You have a flat. What? Yeah, we're tired. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I don't even think I have spare tie. Seriously? I have an idea. Anyway, not to worry. I'll go get someone. Just wait for me. Oh, okay. Thank you. important I return home on an empty stomach. You see, my wife will not be happy if I refuse the food she has slaved over a hot stove all after the cooking. I'm not asking you to gut yourself, just a little piece. Besides, cake is something in this world I'm talented in making. A great deal of care went into making it and I want someone to appreciate it. Oh. Yeah, all right, just a little piece. Oh. Hi, hi, babe. Yes, um, I'll be running a little bit late home. Yes, I was going to drop on another flat tire. I'm actually in her living room right now. Yeah. Oh, oh you want to talk? Okay, hold, hold on, hold on. Hey. Hello? 
Hi. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't his fault. He just had a flat tire. Yeah. I promise not to detain him longer than necessary. At least do not be crossed at him when he comes home not hungry as usual. I'm borrowing a little space in his stomach. <laughs> okay, okay. Do have a great day too. Alright. Bye. Why did you tell her you were here? Is it that bad? I mean, I didn't want her to be worrying. Are you that naive not to notice what a great catch you are? Besides, I didn't want her to think that I lured you into my den just to take advantage of you. Take advantage of me? What, am I a child? Maybe. Most men are grown-up kids. They think they are in control over their actions. But they can't see it when they are being played by a woman. Oh, maybe that was possible when I was 17, but not now. Uh, um, what is this? Cake. No, I mean the one in the bottle. Oh. A liquid, a little liquid fire that helps losing stiff joints. It's my after work therapy. And it relaxes like magic. Well, I'm very cautious of taking alcohol when I'm driving. Are you one of those who cannot stop when they start? Get started. Oh, no, not at all. Alright, then you don't have a problem with alcohol. Actually, where, where, where is he going? He say he's seen a ghost and he's running away from the ghost. Can you imagine? Ah, so he saw a ghost truly. <laughs> oh my god, that guy is just <laughs> naughty. He said the ghost was very <laughs> pink. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. So, ah. just a simple idiot. <laughs> <laughs> a very simple ah. one indeed. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. <clears throat> oh I, I think I better start going. Oh, shit. Later. Oh. Okay. I'm so sorry. Okay. Oh, I have to take this to the kitchen now. Oh, take it easy. Alright. Take it easy. Alright. Alright. Look, um, Anne, I'm sorry about yesterday, okay? I guess the alcohol lowered our inhibition. No, I'm sorry. No, no, wait, 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 wait. I thought we agreed we made a mistake. Why are you compounding it by making another mistake? We didn't make a mistake, sir. I made the mistake. You know what? It was no mistake at all. I deliberately played you. I lured you into it. <gasps> Hey, talking nonsense. If I wanted to resist you, trust me, I would have resisted you, okay? See, that is why it's best I leave, sir. I am a terrible friend. This is the worst betrayal of trust ever. After all the good your wife did for me, I have no right to stab her in the back like this. Everybody has a moment of weakness, okay? It happens. You can't wave your logic around this. This is a shameful act. You want to walk out on a job? What are you going to do to yourself if you walk out now? Have you stopped for a moment to think about it? That is not going to happen. How do you know? No matter how hard I try, I can't stop myself. Listen, you don't really have to work in my department, okay? You can work in another department. 
Thereby, we will not really be seeing each other, okay? You see, you can't resist me either. What is eating my darling husband up? Secretary's quit her job today. Well, isn't she lucky? Lucky? <laughs> well, what else would you want me to say? If she could quit a good job at this time, then she's probably found a better job somewhere else. No, that, 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 that's not it. That's not it. Then what is it? <sighs> she says it's personal. Well, then that's her problem. Forget about it. So, how's my Anne doing? Oh, she's, she's fine. She's doing good. You know, I'm just so happy that we gave her her life back. She was going through hell. Do you know she was on the verge of killing herself before a voice spoke to her to come and see me? You kidding me? I'm serious. She had just finished mixing that poison before the voice just told her to come and see me. She hasn't stopped thanking me since then. She woke up yesterday morning and called me and told me how much she was enjoying her new job, that it was her new backbone, her husband, her very life. She should have drowned all the seas of her sorrows without it. And, and, and. I'm happy for her anyway. You don't say. I'm gonna take a shower. Yeah, so let me get you your food to eat. Yeah? What's for dinner? Your favorite, as usual.
What are you doing here? Looking at you. Oh, you look much better now. When I entered, you looked very frightful and I was wondering what in the hell were you doing? Trying to heal myself or you. Trying to destroy yourself is more like it, and that's not the answer. It's not? Then what is the answer, apart from that nonsense you suggested at the office? I have no solution yet. Hmm. I see. So why did you come here? Well, I can't see if you're okay. I mean, the way you left the office, I was just suspecting you do something gruesome to yourself. Things will work out fine, okay? I think it's a bad idea you coming here. Knowing fully well we're like petrol and fire, a volatile combination that is sure to burn out of control. Now, who is going to save us from ourselves? Oh, you have to come back to the office. Okay, ever since you left that, my conscience has just been taking a beating. If we try, we won't succeed, okay? See you try. Why are you doing this? I've done some thinking. The temptation is a nagging torture. It's more than I can bear, more than we can bear. And I heard the best way to stop temptation is to give in to it. Let's rock each other senseless and burn out this desire from our system. Why are you doing this? Huh? And why? I've done nothing to you yet. You can still walk away. That's the door. Go. You arrive immediately on Friday. So I think you should get them by Saturday. I mean, that's when they'll be cleared from the court here. Yeah. No, I personally will be there the following week. Your problem. Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, my attention is here, yeah. So what? No, it's, it's, it's actually um, 23 by 17 meters. And, uh, no, sorry. Millimeters, yes. No, sorry, millimeters. And, uh, Go for lunch. I'll, I'll speak to you later. Yeah. What is the meaning of this? What does it look like? I want you. You're in the office. So? I can't see any sign prohibiting love making here. Come on, somebody can walk in on us for one. Risk at to the excitement, you chicken. It's called living on the edge, and it's supposed to be good for you. Listen, I'm lacking this kind of courage right now, okay? Besides, um, I'm just too conscious of this environment. It's so dangerous for me, and I can't get my flag up. Somebody can walk in here right now because the door is open. Huh? It's locked. I locked it, and I sent Juliet to get me something. We have 20 minutes before she returns, which I suppose is enough time. Oh, I don't believe this. Oh, God. 
also going to do my nails, you know. Really? Yep. I haven't done a manicure pedicure in ages. <sighs> huh? In eight years. Or oh, ages. Ages, I said. Oh, so it's eight years. Never yeah, told me how you hear him. I'm afraid that that was. School had what? A hair problem? Yeah. Had a hair problem. Oh, your ties are skew. Let me fix it. Oh, TM Levin. That's my man. So? So, I gotta go to work now, baby. Who cares? You're the boss, okay? No, no, listen. I said strict punitive measures against late commas, and I don't have to flood my orders. You've never been late. I mean, ever. Sometimes machines even break down, okay? So, you can just give an excuse, you know, for not showing up. You can just say you just had a meeting or two before showing up at work, okay? Honey, listen. Oh, really? Oh, listen, I know I've been giving too much time to my work lately, and uh, I promise to make out time for us this weekend, okay? Make out time? I don't want to be squeezed into your timetable. I'm not something you make out time for, for your work. I'm your wife, and I want to be able to have you whenever I want to. Baby, what's your problem this morning? You are my problem. You have been my problem for some time now. I'm like some fly on the wall. You don't even look at me anymore. Who is she? What? Don't insult my intelligence. I know there's another woman. Who the hell is she? Look, if you had slapped me this morning, it would have been much better than this horrible, painful accusation. You're only feeling the pain because I hate the truth, man. Your behavior points to the fact that you have another mistress. You come home so tired, always having headaches, that medicine can't cure. Go and waste your energy elsewhere, and you come home wasted like an empty magic box. I go out every day, busting my brains and breaking my bones, just so we could have a good life. And this is how you pay me back. This is what you tell me at the end of the day. Now this is what I'm going to tell you. If you continue like this, there's never going to be us. around here for the next time you enter my office you better knock off i'm not blaming you sir she's a piece of work and will present a temptation of the strongest kind to any red-blooded man see i will suggest you smell it touch it but don't taste it what are you going on about I, all i'm trying to say is be careful i didn't recall asking you for any advice look man i'm only being a good friend see you have a perfect life every man would die for. A dream company and a perfect wife. Don't be a fool to risk everything for some whore, man. Who says she's a whore? <laughs> she was going to spread it wide open on your couch just now. And tell me, if that wasn't a whore-like behavior, I don't know what it is. <laughs> The fact that she refused to date you doesn't mean you should call her names. Do you understand me? Oh my God! You are in love with her, aren't you? This is so disappointing. Listen, I used to look up to you as a man with a strong sense of right and wrong. A man with iron will and 
self-control. You are nothing but a foul, dishonorable, common man. She is a highway to hell. And you are driving on that same road at dangerous speed levels. Listen, if you don't slow down or get off the road altogether, you will end up in hell sooner than you know it. Drop the files and leave. where they will seek out men who can only give them money or men of power that's a crack of nonsense every woman is attracted to power she's that time she's drunk on my boss and intoxicated see they are doing it everywhere even at the office no way she's romping with the boss <laughs> that's game over for you bro a confirmed no-go area <laughs> says who she can still be caught on the side that is, if he wants to get booted out of a job. He's right, man. I think I'll get more than the boots if I try that girl. Take a look. Oh, man, that's nasty. How did you get that nasty cut? I walked in on my boss, and he was kissing a girl. And he punched you? No, but he punched me because I called her a slut. Why would you do a stupid thing like that? I was angry, man. Come on, man. Behave like a good dog. Throw in the towel and lick your wounds in silence. Don't even look at her again. I mean, come on. You know what? No tell is worth throwing away a perfectly good job for. There will be no need for that. You see, my boss is a good guy and a good friend. He actually called me aside and apologized after the whole incident. Normally, he's not even that kind of guy to cheat on the wife. He's as straight as an arrow and upright as a pole. But that girl, man, she's no ordinary chick. And no man can even resist her. Even a dead one. Well, it's a good thing beer was invented. Soak your spirit and forget about her. Beer will always remain faithful to you no matter what. And it's the only thing that won't get mad, even when you cheat on her. That's it. Cheers, my brother. Cheers. <laughs> You know what your problem is? You're too conscientious. Forget about what happened in the office. Sam will understand. 80% of married men have mistresses. Probably he will get one when he gets married too. Well, you can sue me for being part of the 20%. You need to go up there. Real men are not so fearful. So drink will relax you and not get you drunk. I think we've had enough. But I've seen you drunk more than this before. I'm not talking about the drink, I'm talking about you and I. It's getting too much, but we need to take a break. Don't let Sam get to you. It's not about Sam, okay? We started this thing to get rid of the blinding temptation between us, and I think now we're going too far. We need to stop now, or else we'll crash and burn. 
And I say, we'll pick up from where we stopped at the office. Am I not getting through to you? Look at how you're struggling not to resist me. Oh, oh what a beautiful sight. We're lost without you. We're far too gone in this. Huh? I think. No. I think you desire me much more than you desire your wife. You have a most wicked heart for someone so young and I regret having anything to do with you. Way to go strong man! The throat always hurt like a knife to the heart. I need you to hold on to that armor. I need you to stab me with your rock hard weapon like a raving madman. I want to walk bow leather for a week. Salary into your bank account so that you won't worry about money. That's not possible, you hear me? I said, that is not possible. You have got me to love you, and right now I am neck deep in love with you, and you just want to ditch me just like my husband did. I am not a tissue paper that can be used and dumped by every other man I love. I am entitled to a little happiness too. What has come over you? What has come over you? If I wasn't married to your best friend, things would have been different. Tell me the truth. Are you truly happy with her? I'm very, very happy. Thank you very much. Oh, well. I am not happy with my life. Loneliness has become my companion for a very long time. And I am tired of it. And if you think you will go back to your wife, you're very mistaken, mister. Have you gone crazy? Your wife wouldn't think I've gone crazy when I tell her where you've been investing all your sexual energies recently. Oh, I don't think you're gonna tell her that. Damn me. You think she's gonna believe you? My wife should better her life than my faithfulness to her. You know what? Here's the phone. I'm gonna call her right now. And you can see who she's gonna believe. You or me. Oh yeah. Right. She will believe you. Now imagine what will happen when I describe to her the very intimate part of your anatomy. How it bends to the left when you get excited, and then the scar on the teeth which you got during a bicycle accident when you were 12. You wanted to call her, right? Don't let me stop you. Tell me, what do you want? Great question. I want everything your wife has, which includes you and all that you own. After all that she's done for you? She's your best friend for crying out loud. Oh, please, she's not my best friend for crying out loud. She's a self-satisfied, arrogant, spoiled brat who thinks she deserves the milk and honey of the earth. What? Yeah, that's right. Till this very moment, I keep on wondering what man sees in her. She's neither as beautiful nor as smart as I am. But yet, things work out well for her and not for me. Why? It's about money. I'm gonna get him on just to leave my wife alone. Oh, please. My happiness comes first this time around. And I'm sorry for anybody who tries to get in my way. Because I will trample the person to the ground without looking down. I don't care. It fits your core of a wife. Don't let your imagination run wild. I, 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 you know, I, on my way home, I, I saw this little girl lying in a pool of blood. I think she was, she was a victim of um, hit and run. And you know, where she was lying was very dangerous. And cars were just passing left, right, and so I decided to park my car and help her because nobody decided to help her. And, and 
I carried her to the hospital, you know, like, little girl, like, seven, eight, she was just... Okay, crazy. then, you know what, so why didn't you call me, as you always do, to tell me that you were going to be late? Oh, um, <clears throat> you know, when we got to the hospital, things became complicated. I was supposed to uh, write police reports, you know, and, um, so many things, there was a lot of pressure on me, and be before I realized time, I'd already run out of that outcome. I, 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 I couldn't call you. Baby, why are you looking at me like that? God. I, I, I don't know what to think right now. Why are you? Baby, do you think I'm capable of such violence? Looks has nothing to do with who we are inside. But baby, it remind long enough for you to know your husband, me. You should know me by now. Going to bed. Oh, God. Baby, it was a little girl. around here looks like a funeral parlor. Even Juliet is working on eggshells. Who died? Come on, that lazy girl. She's doing that because Aunt is not around. That even reminds me. What was she anyway? She asked for a week's vacation. She said she has to um, she has to attend to a family emergency. Are you alright, man? Don't I look okay? Truthfully, you look like you're carrying the one on your shoulders. Is everything all right at the home front? Sam, for a man, I think you're too nosy. I'm fine. And my wife is very fine. Thank you very much. Good to know. So, um, are you here for something or are you here to study my mood? Uh huh, that year reminds me. See, I want you to have a look at something for me. See, this investment we made here. Yes, but I told you, see, 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 see. I have told you that when these people come, they have to pay first. How many times do you want me to tell you this, Sam? All right, I guess I have to call them, you know, recently for a meeting or something. So don't let me tell you things twice, all right? Please. Don't. All right. Um, I'll be at your office. Cheer up, man. Yeah. Make sure that you just. Sorry, gentlemen, to intrude this way. No, it's okay. We were hoping you would provide us with some answers. And you are? I am Detective D. Here is my assistant, Detective Oche. Fine. What is this about? I was hoping you would furnish me with some information by Satie Anne. We gathered she was an employee here. What is this about? She is dead. What? What? How come? The how come is the reason we are here. Her neighbors reported the terrible smell coming out from her house and alerted us. We arrived to break open the door and see her dead body with a nasty cut on her neck delivered with the end of a jagged bottle. Why would you do such a nasty thing like this? It is usually somebody with a grudge, say a disgruntled or jealous boyfriend. Are you aware of any 
office relationship that could have gone, sir? No. No. Are you aware of any constant visitor or visitors from outside the office? No, um, Anne is a very private person. I mean, if she had any relationship, she didn't make it known to us, you know, the people working around her. But don't you think it might be a, you know, an armed robbery case that went bad or like a rapist? It wasn't armed robbery and she wasn't raped. Why do you think that is what happened? <laughs> well, I'm just wondering why you didn't consider other possibilities. Other possibilities are the reason we are here. We know our job well enough to know it wasn't robbery because nothing was stolen. And if it was rape, we would have found evidence of forced entry to her body. The only evidence of entry to her body wasn't false. She made love out of choice and he murdered her. How long has she been absent from office? Um, for about a week. A week. Uh, she asked for a week excuse to take off some family emergency and uh, I let her go. <laughs> what were you guys on Thursday evening? Um, about 7 p.m. Um, I was at home with my wife. And you? Yeah, I was at a drinking spot with um, two of my friends. What are their names? Noba and Jamal. Thank you, gentlemen, for your time. We will return if we need anything. Why are you looking at me? What do you mean? Why the hell are you looking at me like that? I'm not looking at you in any way. I'm just shaking. Why? Is it a bad thing to be shaken after hearing that a colleague is dead? Excuse me, sir. Why are you looking at me? What do you mean? Why the hell are you looking at me like that? I'm not looking at you in any way. I'm just shaking. Is it a bad thing to be shaken after hearing that a colleague is dead? Excuse me, sir. I believe you said everybody's was right? Whatever, man. I'm not here to call this boss for you. Play. Oh my god, that's right. You know, I'm always good at this game. You know, it's just that. Uh, so be my day today. What's up, man? And there we go. Oh. And it's a shame! <laughs> Guys, 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 listen, you can't believe what happened. What happened? Is the babe at the office. Come on. Don't tell me you are still obsessed with that girl. Do you have a dead wish or something? She is dead. What? What happened? How did it happen? She was murdered. By whom? I think the police is still investigating to know what happened and who is responsible. Who do you think is responsible? How the hell am I supposed to know this? Am I a clairvoyant? No. But you do have this look in your eye that suggests you do know something. <laughs> Wait a minute, you do know something. I've known you for a long time enough to know you do have something on your mind. Look guys, I don't want to speak out of ten here, but I strongly believe my boss knows something about this. What do you mean? See, the girl left the office a week ago with no notice. And since then, my boss has been behaving so funny. He's always irritable and moody like he's got the whole world on his shoulders. When I enter his office, he always jumps as if somebody has caught him hiding. And when the police came, he just fell apart. Oh, he's one guilty man. Only a guy with blood in his hands would behave like that. How can you be so sure? What kind of stupid question is that? Didn't you hear what you just said? You are a fool for calling me stupid, stupid. I didn't call you stupid. I call your question stupid. It bloody means the same thing. Please, guys, stop it. Enough. Listen, everything points to the fact that my boss really did it. But I believe there's an explanation somewhere. Because my boss can't even hit a fly. Sure, but you want to ask the other time just for calling her names. This sounds to me like a guy who will kill in the heat of jealousy. I, I can't be too sure of that. What other bloody proof do you need? He attacked you and you were his friend. What do you think is going to happen to a total stranger if he catches him shoving it into her? 
but no other guy was involved in this. It was only the girl that was found out dead. And you think he will kill? He laughs out of jealousy. It is especially out of jealousy people kill your loved ones. It might even be a possibility that she told him she's not interested in a relationship anymore, and he lost it and killed her. You watch too many films. But Sam, um, what if this theory turns out to be true? What will you do? Will you turn your balls in? So, what do you suggest I do? What do I suggest you do? Man, that's your story. <laughs> it's up to you. Well, I say any man who can take another person's life to face the same fate, I think he should be hung also. Is dead? She died last week, Thursday. Thursday evening. <clears throat> I told them I was home with you. Thursday. Wait a minute. Isn't that the same night you came home drenched in blood? Yes. So why didn't you tell them that? I can see it's still hard for you to believe my story even now. How then do you think they'll take it if I go and tell them the same story? Well, forgive me. But hearing this now, your explanation does sound weak. And I don't believe you. If you think I am going to be your alibi, then you've got it wrong. I'm sure I've answered all your questions, officers. Like I've said, my husband returned home five minutes to four, and then afterwards we had dinner. That's all. Um, what did you have for dinner? I had um, rice, chicken, and um, moi moi. Can your husband confirm that? Oh, what do you know? Why don't I just ask him right now? Ask me what? What you had for dinner last Thursday? I had for dinner last week, Thursday. Do you even remember what you ate last night? What has that got to do with anything? Gentlemen, we need an answer and not another question. Okay, fine. Uh, <clears throat> I had rice. Rice, chicken, and more money. One last thing. Do you recognize this? Uh, don't worry, you don't have to answer that. I will take no more of your time. Good evening. Oh, by the way, 
I will advise that you should not make any form of traveling until this issue is cleared off. Don't come near me. Monster! I don't even think I know you. Who are you? Listen, baby, it's not what you think, okay? It's not what I think. You killed my best friend! I didn't kill anybody. Alright. Those are the cufflinks I bought for you. And now my friend is dead! Killed! You were the last person we heard that night. I can remember asking you where you were, and you lied to me. Oh my God. Oh my God. I am leaving this house at once. God! This is listen to me, baby. I love you, baby. <laughs> Charlie, see, your office is like a ghost town. Everybody's working silently like hunters in the bush. No one wants to look into his neighbor's eyes. Did the people in your office knew the boss was sleeping with him? I knew because I walked in accidentally without knocking. No one can do that in the office. You did tell any of your colleagues about it? No way. He is my guy. Then no one there is going to rat on him. Good day, guys. It's a good day for a beer, isn't it? I guess it is. Well, I hate drinking alone. If you wouldn't mind, I would like to join you guys. We are not here for the beer to take you. Anyway, you can still join us. Well, you're absolutely right. Um, I'm here for a chat. And you know, I don't drink when I'm on duty. If you wouldn't mind, I would like to have a chat with your friends. Go on and ask them and not me. Why me? I'm actually asking you because I would like you to leave for a moment so I can talk with them. Well, sure. Thank you. Well, I'm Detective Dan. I would like to know which one of you is Noba and who is Jamal. I'm Noba. I'm Jamal. Well, I would like to know where you guys were on Thursday around 7 p.m. We leave your officer. We only go when we want to sleep. I want you to speak for yourself. I was here on Thursday night, 7 p.m. I'd be glad if you could furnish me with information of what is discussed with you so far regarding this case. Officer, those are what in hall. We only come here to unwind and drink beer. We don't come here to talk about murder cases. There's no better place to discuss murder than over cold bottles of beer. You know, we have leads that could implicate your friend or even you if you don't tell us what we need to know on time. Because by the time we gather all we have, the two of you will be going away for obstruction of justice. Obstruction of justice? So you're committing a crime by talking to a friend? What is the matter with you? No one has committed any crime. They can force us to furnish you with information we do not have. Well, let me educate you, Mr. Lawyer. If you have any information and you hold it back, it could lead to miscarriage of justice. And it has a sizable penalty if you care to know. Well, you told me a co-worker got murdered. You know, we deliberated about certain points and that was it. I'm, I'm not in court or under any court to give you my opinion on the matter. Well, now I know where you stand. But let me tell you, you've not heard the last of me. And you, what do you have to tell me? He just told you. Some said his co-worker was murdered. You better tell me something because it wouldn't be funny when I'm dragging your behind to the courtroom. Well, he says he thinks his boss is sleeping with a dead girl. That was all. He think or he's sure. 
because it will not be funny when I drag your behind to the courtroom, my brother. Your suspicions could be right. Why don't you ask him? I swear, that's all I know. Well, thank you very much. I think you have been of help. Have a nice day then. Thank you. What the hell did you tell him? The bastard ratted out on your boss. What? I didn't. What do you mean tell him that boss was dating the girl meant? You have directly linked him to the murder. If he gets into any kind of trouble because of this, I will never forgive you. Up yours, man. The guy said we could be booked if we heard anything back. Why should I go to jail for some magic idiot's crime? Why do you want to protect him? Because he's your boss? Well, if he did it, he should pay for it. He is a bloody cop. It is his job to give implied threats to force people into confession. You can be a dimwit and a coward sometimes. Hey, don't insult me. You blooming idiot. Even a donkey is smarter than you. I'm leaving. Arrest for the mother of an Aki. Coffee! Someone who can hoodwink the judge into not seeing the undeniable evidence we have against you. What evidence? Fingerprints at her house? Yes, I've been to her house a couple of times. She's offered me drinks, but that doesn't prove I killed her. <laughs> of course not. It doesn't. Have you gone crazy? Your wife wouldn't think I've gone crazy when I tell her where you've been investing all your sexual energies recently. Right, she will believe you. Now imagine what will happen when I describe to her the very intimate part of your anatomy. How it bends to the left when you get excited and then the scum on the teeth which you got during a bicycle accident when you went to work. You wanted to call her, right? For what you want to ask? Great question. I want everything your wife has. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Till this very moment, I keep on wondering what man sees in her. She's neither as beautiful nor as smart as I am. But yet, yeah, things work out well for her and not for me. Why? My happiness comes first this time around, and I'm sorry for anybody who tries to get in my way, because I will trample the person to the ground without looking down. I don't care if it's your hope of wife. Leave me alone! This is about getting in here. It's not about the money. I will destroy her!
dear, you didn't know she was recording everything. Now we know how it all happened. She threatened to tell your wife, so you exploded into violence. You then smashed a bottle and you stabbed her to death. That is not how it happened. Why don't you tell us how it all happened then? I did not kill her. Right? We had a disagreement. The next day I knew I had passed out. I did not kill her. And tell me, what do you mean by you passed out? She gave me whiskey to drink. Very strong whiskey. You know, I've never had that type of whiskey before. Alright? Then I became drunk. I, I, she started talking. I became lighthearted and that's it. The next day I knew I had passed out. I did not kill her. Look, I'm not going to say another word to my lawyers at present. With this evidence and your confession, do you still think a lawyer will save you? You got drunk, you lost control, and you killed her. It is plain and simple. You need God's miracle, not a lawyer. to everything that you're not capable of the murder you've been accused of but indeed I have learned that the mind of a man is deceptive you have made me lose my faith in men thank you very much Baby, I'm so sane and you know it, all right? I don't care if the world believes otherwise, but as long as you believe me, that is what matters. Do you know how offensive it is looking at you proclaim your innocence? Whereas the evidence is so glaring. I listened to the recorded drama. I heard every single thing. That went on between you and Anne at that night. You shameless man. You come across to everybody as a sweet gentleman. But you're a good actor. You make everyone believe that you're loving, sweet. What a perfect forsake your evil, violent persona. It's a shame that Anne had to expose your true colors at the expense of her own life. Baby, I... I, I know how everything looks, but please, I, I, I didn't kill her. I didn't. You will die in hell. And suffer every single day of your life. Come on. But trust me, you will surely pay for it one day. That's the law of karma. Look at you. A successful man with a wife like that, 
and you went ahead and threw everything away. You had the word in your pocket, yet it was not enough. The net has finally closed in on my boss. He got arrested today. Oh boy. Man, the guy has lost it all. And if convicted, he's going to spend life in prison. He's going to lose his company and I know definitely his wife is also going to leave him. I wonder why he should flash his life down the toilet for that girl. Let's come to think of it, I even warned him. And if I had that chance of life, I wouldn't have wasted it. There, are you happy now? Don't you try to blame me for this. Who should I blame? Who else should I blame? How about the murderer himself? I don't know why you want to insist I'm the bad guy here. If it was your sister this happened to, will you be so quick to understand or forgive him? I don't think he was arrested based on Nobel's statement. I think they found some stronger evidence somewhere. Hello? Can somebody give me breathing space now? What are you so bloody happy about? You have already made yourself a key witness in this case. Now remember, in the course of this case, you'll be called to court to testify. Didn't you hear him? They have stronger evidence now. What would they want with me? My friend, every murder case has to be proven beyond any reasonable doubt. And that, my friend, is they will eliminate any margin of error. So they will call on every key witness to testify in their means to make this case stick. Well, since I'll be telling them what you told me, you will also be called upon to testify too. I never admitted to anything. You'll be quoting me at your own risk because I'll deny ever saying anything to you. And Jamal here will back me up, won't you? Of course, 100%. So you'll be considered a prankster who wants to take the court for a joke. Or a guy who is out to nail my boss for a personal reason. And that is to say, you'll still come out as the bad person here. <laughs> I wish I could ask him why he did it. Because my boss is not that kind of person. He wouldn't even hit a fly. Killers are usually the innocent looking ones. And they are quiet most of the time because their mind is pure evil. They know that when they voice out their thoughts, it to shock the normal person. So they always keep their opinions to themselves. I chose not to be present. I didn't want to face the publicity and the gossips. Everybody would be there waiting to catch a glimpse of the unfortunate wife you'd leave behind. So, I decided to nurse my pain in my privacy. It wasn't just today you never showed your face throughout the trial of the case, and that really worked against him. Your presence might have worked in his favor. Is that a crime? Well, no. Good. So why are you here? Actually, I came to tell you that he got the worst sentence. Death by hanging. With all his wealth, the stick could not shake off the glaring evidence we have against him. It is done. You are free. Everything works in our favor. <sighs> we made it. in our favor.
I just set the stage by smearing car blood on his hand and on my arm. Then I went to hide myself. When he regained consciousness, he got freed and ran out of the house like a bat out of hell. I later planted the dead body of a mad woman we picked from the street. I had to dress her with hand clothes. I then mutilated her face to avoid recognition. Then we left. Knowing fully where that had the composing order, we allowed the neighbor to call the police. Truly, they reported the case to our department and I took over the investigation. You are brilliant, Dave. Good thinking. He was such a gentle man. I knew he would not enter my house without a trick. So, I paid the vulcanizer close to my house to sneak up and deflate the tire of his car as I detained him by listening to his conversation. That was how I could get him into the house. Wow. But let me just chip this in, okay? We cannot lay our hands on the money yet, okay? We have to just lay low for now, okay? Capish? I know. That is why I had to arrange for the final stage of the plan. Which is? Having him murdered in the prison. Wow. Calm your nerves, my dear. He will meet with an accident in a month from now. Why? He has already been sentenced to death. Why don't we allow the law to do that? You see, for a death sentence to be carried out, the governor has to sign it into effect. And you see, most governors, if I, every governor will know what to leave office with his hands stained with blood, as a result, he will want to leave the responsibility for the next man who will take over for him. I have already arranged with Hachette. Who's Hachette? <laughs> a dreaded criminal. In fact, a condemned prisoner. He has been in the prison for over 11 years. He has killed so many people since he came into the prison. Wait a minute. Don't tell me he's going to share it in our money too. No. I already promised him a lot. If I, I promise to make him stay in the prison very comfortable, and uh, I will be supplying him daily meals, cigarettes, marijuana, and prostitutes when she's desire. I will have to pay the prison workers some money so that they could set everything up for him. So shut up. Everything is in order. Okay. Why don't I get another glass and join in the drinking, okay? Very nice. I shall be back. I wish I could have come with you. Please charge my brain. Leave to my brother. I can miss we make my GPS we know if you remember. I mean I can miss his call, right? You guys don't believe me, huh? I didn't kill her. I'm innocent. Everybody here is innocent. Ask him, which crime you commit? Me, I don't commit any crime. I be innocent man. <laughs> what difference does it even make? My wife doesn't believe me. The whole world doesn't believe me. I don't care about you two. I don't care whether you two believe me or not. I'm 
guilty. I returned from Monday morning last month with my wife. The next night, an armed guy entered our house. He tied me up. I showed him where the money was. And after taking the money, he proceeded to rape my wife. And he wanted me to watch him do this. Can you imagine? You know, I was expecting my wife to put up a show of resistance, kind of resisting the guy. But to my surprise, she threw herself on the guy like a damn person prostitute. And then, she gave the guy a wonderful treat. A treat I've never enjoyed ever since I knew her. Just like calling the guy names. Names like Big Daddy. The stallion, the Italian iron horse. Man, I could not hold myself. It's a matter of five days, it is just a shotgun. Kill them both. A short guy, a short wife. Good. Yes, I kill them. How many bullets? So this, you know, boss did it. Boss, you know, like seven bullets, seven. Boss, 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 boss. Police arrested me. It was in court that I realized that that bastard survived it. Jesus Christ. The guy didn't die. And my wife. <laughs> Not even a scratch on her. To despise me more, you know, she testified in court, in court against me. In fact, she told the court. That she invited the guy into the house, that the guy was not a thief. Now, when I came to the house and saw them together, I imagined, I imagined there was something going on between them. And I took my gun, crazy, my gun, and shot the guy. That wife, that bitch, she married me. She changed. Story. She got me to this mess. But why come you're still carrying a picture? I still love this picture. <laughs> Imagine your brother. This guy is very funny. Very funny. funny thing is cracking. <laughs>
Thanks, man. Uh, you're welcome, man. This guy's a damn bitch. Hot it. Ha! Make you begin the prayer now before he wakes up, oh. Why? Don't kill two. Triple five. Since he entered this prison. And instead make them punish him. They come they treat him like king. Why? Ha. Me, me, I don't know. Me, I don't know. Well, I think it's time. Oh my god. What is it? This is Anne. Who is Anne? The woman I supposedly killed. The woman I'm in prison because I supposedly killed her. It's impossible. This is my wife, Joyce. Then it's a lie. This her real name is Anne. I'm oh, sorry, bro. I guess this dude, that this animal, might have choked you too hard. Oh, but that's all. She's just a look alike of your aunt. She has a mole in between her thighs, and she always shaves a pubic hair like an arrow downwards. Oh god. Oh god. She's a bitch. So you slept with her too? If I killed her a month ago, how come she's alive now? What's happening? Lord, woman, set up. Ah, you set up. She set you up just like she set me up. And she's in court testifying against you because she's changed the story. I am sure she died. Because I'm not understanding all this. It's one that you think I'm here for me that. Oh my god. Oh my god, my wife is in danger. Oh my god. But she was dead and buried. Oh my wife is sad. Oh, you know what? She set me up so that she can get me in jail, so that I can be out of the way, so she can get to my wife. She hates my wife with a passion. Oh my god, I need to get to her. That bitch is a gold digger. It's a gold digger. Oh god, I'm dead. I am dead the beneficiary of my will. My money. She makes it sound good. Yes. Young man like you. Foolish, oh, yeah, you foolish man. You know why? You know why I'm talking foolish. I must get the message across to my wife at once and warn her. You know, go make her arrangements with your lawyer, make you come and move for her first. Confusing, guys. How could he have found us since he's in prison? Well, I think he was a target of a well planned scheme. Oh. A guy was thrown into jail and he had a picture of this same girl. And the guy claimed the girl is very much alive. Could she be a twin? Yeah, that should explain it. 
She must be the twin sister. No, I don't think so. The guy with the picture was also used. And what's the probability that the twin sisters could be in the same line of business? You know, twins do everything together, man. Ask around. No, I disagree. I think she's one and the same person. So, how are you going to go about finding this girl? Because you really need to find her, present her to the authorities before they can believe you. Honestly, I don't know how, but I know I have to start from somewhere. Guys, I have to leave. Where are you going? There. You need to have faith in mankind. It's not everyone who's a devil like you. You could have gone to court to witness against an innocent man thinking he was guilty. And that would have been false witness. Man, get off my case. Are you going to play or not? I'll play at all. Whatever. <coughs> Are you saying exactly? Listen, I'm telling you the truth. Your husband says Anne is very alive and well, and that she is planning something evil against you. Well, he said um, we should try and go and see the lawyer and report to the police. And if it is proven that she is alive, well, he will regain his freedom again. You know, I'm sure it's probably one of your friends trying to play a practical joke. No, um, the warder himself came to tell me about this. What was his name? Every officer has his name written above his breast pocket on his uniform. I didn't bother to look at his name. You see, I was more interested in what he came to tell me. But you know, I don't know what to think. Think? In heaven's name, what is there to think about? Listen, we just have to do as he says. Can we just go and see the lawyer at once? You know, let me think about this for a while. Um, I'll get back to you tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow? Yes. What is stopping us now? I said I need to think over it, okay? What is your problem? I mean, what have you got to lose in this? Absolutely nothing. His strongest motivation for doing this is to protect your life more than anything. There is no danger worse than delay. Please, can we go and see the lawyer? Do you know I'll be making a fool of myself if I go staring up things to the police only for them to find out that everything I'm saying is not the truth? On the contrary, I believe people will applaud you for helping and supporting your husband. There is nothing more honorable than that. For goodness sake, why are you pushing me to the wall? I have already told you that I'll accompany you to the lawyer's place tomorrow. What is all this nonsense for? Okay, listen, okay, I'm sorry to bother you. Good day. Why? Something strong. Damage is done. Blaming you will not solve our problems. He has to go. He has to go. What? Sam, or whatever you call his name, he needs to disappear. That is the only way out. Otherwise, he will stop us. He will take up everything himself. And just how do you intend to do that? You 
you will have to get him over here. Then I will take him for a ride and shoot him for good. Well, uh, I've asked him to come by tomorrow. No. No. <sighs> Call him right now. Tell him you have decided to see the lawyer this night. Yeah, hi, it's me. Um, well, I've, I've thought over it and I've decided that we're going to see the lawyer today. Um, okay, how, how far are you? Okay, then I'm, 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 I'm waiting for you then. Thank you. Bye. He's on his way. He's on his way. Having a ball, are we? What are you doing here? I'm trying to remind myself a lot of the reason. How many goddamn times have I warned you to stay out of sight? What is the matter with you, Anne? Do you know how it feels to be indoors, to be trapped in the house all day? No, you wouldn't know, because you can move in and move out anytime you feel like. So were you expecting us to work out with the kind of money we're after without sacrificing anything? And why should I be the only one doing all the sacrificing? <laughs> Do you know your disobedience has brought us so much trouble? We've been found out! What are you talking about? Someone knows that you are alive. That's not possible. Sam from the office came up with the news not quite long ago. Your cover is blown. And I'm trying to see how to resolve this issue. As a result, I wouldn't want you to cause us further problem. Get back to your hideout and never to come out again unless you want to feel like it is to be in the prison. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I truly am. Please, I'm so, so sorry. It's him. Hello? Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm here. Um, I'm ready for you. Are you sure you are alone? Of course I'm alone. How far are you away from here? Well, the thing is this. I was just about to come to the house when I saw... Sam, the last thing I need right now are excuses, okay? I, I need you to come here so that we just solve this problem once and for all. I need to go and see the lawyer today. This is very, very important to me, okay? Okay, okay. I'll be with you. I'm coming in. Okay, bye. What are you guys still doing here? You hear me tell me that I'm alone, okay? I don't want you guys to scare him off. No, please go. Get out of here now. <laughs>
It's been so many days now. Are you sure it was Sam you sent the word to? I mean, nothing is happening. Yeah, I. Uh, he's a little bit tall. He's of my height, and uh, he's late in Conroe. And they said his name is Sam Weko. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's, that's him. But why is nothing happening? Now listen, my friend. Things don't work out the way you expect. Because now you have to know that you are dealing with the law and also the court. You understand? Maybe your lawyer might be working on the case and it might take a later time. Yes, Thank you very much, Warden. Thank you. Bye. Promise me one thing when you get out of here. Promise me that you'll kill that bitch before she touches the purse of her money, please. You know, when I get out of here, I'm gonna make sure my lawyer gets you out. And then you can do that yourself. No, he's not. I think he has made us out. He knows we are unto him and that is too dangerous. I need to get him tonight. But how? Uh, do you do you have an idea where he lives? How am I supposed to? <laughs> um, but um I think I can ask somebody at the office tomorrow. Um you know of anyone you could call right now to give us his address? No. I know. I think he could be planning something dangerous as we speak. Oh, come on. Against the solid rock of the law? You must be kidding. I did get to where I am today by taking chances. You have no idea how costly delay can be. So how did it go? The shop is on to us. Hope that will not destroy our plans. No. Once the money is in her hand, she will still die. Thank God. I just don't like it when you come home smelling of her perfume. I hope nothing happens there. I just wish to see the look of pain in her face as she falls to her death. Can you do me a favor? Uh, what sort of evil is it? I want to be the one to pull the trigger on her forehead. I just can't wait. I wish to see the look of pain in her face as she falls to her death. If that will make you happy. Yes, indeed it will. What, when she's dead and people discover that her bank account is empty, won't they suspect her for me? Um, they can suspect whatever they want. 
But the suspicion will never come to us. That's right. At last, David. <laughs> we got you. Dictative Ocha. What are you doing here? <laughs> it is you that will have to explain what you are doing with a lady you confirmed dead, of which another man is serving a jail sentence for. Dictati, it will be a lot of money to you if you roll over a playboy. You better speak in plain English, bro. It's not time for riddles. Ah. <sighs> I mean, it will be worth a lot of money to you. My boys, if you look the other way and let me walk. You are begging. <laughs> I never thought I would see this day. I thank God I have all your confession on tape. However, I would rather see you go down than have all the money in the world. Arrest him. <laughs> Officer, please. I'm begging you in the name of God. I had nothing to do with this guy. It was entirely his fault, a root or child's fault. I beg you guys in the name of God. I had nothing to do with them. Entirely. It was all his fault. Please, 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 please. Please, 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 there you are. I've been waiting for you for ages. What happened? I was learning the lessons of life, learning about the heart of men and women. I well, uh, I see. Well, I think I should just get into something more appropriate and decent so we can leave at once. Okay? Hold it. If it is Dave you want to go and call, forget it, he is dead. Dead? Um, wait a minute. Who is Dave, by the way? I can't believe you're all part of this. I mean, I can't believe you set up your husband and had him put in jail. A man who loves you with every single cell of his body. My friend? If you are here to talk nonsense after getting drunk, I'm going to ask you to leave my house at once. It is very true, my dear. And just stop pretending to be innocent. And confess everything. Your husband is going to be free tomorrow. so successful for so long because of how well they have eluded capture by the police. These three have defrauded and even killed countless number of their victims and nobody suspected that the dangerous group was owned, organized and operated by a much respected, very decorated police detective called Dave. Their past crimes eventually returned to hunt them as more of their past victims came out to testify against them in court. Just got sentenced to 90 years in hard labor. And got 110 years. And Dave. Well, he is in hell helping Old Nick to shovel coal into the lake of fire. One can hardly blame my boss for being a lot cautious of beautiful women these days. He has a new philosophy also. Marry the devil you know and stay away from very beautiful women because every man wants her. And if she doesn't leave you when she feels tired of you or find someone new, then be prepared to become a slave to her every want, urge, need or whim because if you fail to please her, there are hundreds of other men waiting in line to do so. There is no respite. It's too much hard work in a difficult world. 
I tend to agree with him.